My name is Keith Lloyd McCree. For the last 19 years, I've smoked methamphetamine at least three times a week. The first time I ever smoked weed was with Keith under a classroom at Ranui Primary School. I lost my little girl due to meth. I've not seen her in over three and a half years because I chose Beth over her. That would hit home for a lot of people and they changed their ways, but he didn't. Yeah. Thursday, going to jail. It's like you're trapped in the pit and there's a ladder, you're climbing up the ladder, but just before you can reach the top of the pit to get out, the ladder just stops. I don't like discussing it with family because I don't want the family to worry about me. In the past, I never thought this is where I'd be in my life. I never thought this is who I would be. I'm 30 years old and my ex-boyfriend, he suffered from clinical depression. Um, yeah, so when I first met him, when I first met him, um, he was stable. He was, he was stable. But I feel like there's a lot of potential left, you know, for males to come forward with it. But at the moment, I do feel that it's harder for them. I can't believe you spilled it on me on purpose! I'm going to your manager. This is what sucks about customer service. The customer told me that it was my fault and that I was useless at my job and that I personally would have to pay the $700 it would take to replace the passports. So there was this guy and he was like, I don't have time for this because both the Ponsonby stores had closed down so we were getting all the Ponsonby customers and of course they were a bunch of rich white snobs. <laughs> Basically, the second guy started yelling at the guy in front, saying that he had more than 12 items, but he didn't. He actually had 12. I mean, I don't know how to deal with situations like that, because I'm, I'm only young, and so I just do my job and kind of let them argue it out. You can't get angry. You have to deal with customers quite patiently, especially when they're being confrontational. 